it's unfortunate. We don't know anything. We don't know the details. And poor academic judgment, I have no idea what that means. Did you cut class? Did you fail some courses? Did you cheat on a test? I don't know. What I do know is, Skip, I'm getting really sick and tired of finding these kids in these kind of precarious positions and then the extraordinary measures are extended to conceal specifically what the problem is. Did it ever occur to anyone that if you put stuff on Front Street, that that would serve as, the potential, as potentially the strongest deterrent of them all? The man did not commit a crime that we know of. We, it, there's nothing like that. You, you exercised poor judgment as a result. You're not enrolled at Notre Dame. It's not good. It's incredibly unfortunate, particularly to the Fighting Irish and their football program. But it's not the end of the world. What exactly is it that you did? What are you, what, what is this mea culpa about? What have you done to sully the name of yourself, your family, the university? Speak it. Say it loud. Because, see, to me, if he were at the NFL scouting combine, Skip, they would know specifically what he did. They would make sure they found out. Well, if they have a right to know, how come the paying customers don't have a right to know? How come the television networks don't have a right to know? How come fans of Notre Dame don't have a right to know? If you want to put it out there like that and acknowledge that there was poor academic judgment, then to me... You should have the obligation to crystallize for us exactly what that means. Because if I wanted to go the worst route of them all, hey, you cheated on test. You paid somebody to take tests for you. You didn't go to class. I can jump to, an, a bunch, of, to a bunch of conclusions, all because you're purposely vague. And allowing them to be purposely vague, to me, is playing the role of an enabler as opposed to really, really putting it on Front Street so we can use this as the proper form of the deterrent that it should be. I'm with you on this. And I ask you, is it possible that Everett Golson used poor judgment in the writing of the statement that he released? Because I quote from the statement, Stephen A., at this point, I understand how my integrity could be in question. That's right. Well, you might understand that, Everett, but I don't. Stephen A. doesn't. Carrie doesn't. None of us out here really understand why your integrity could be in question. So that just begs another question that Stephen A. just tossed out. Your integrity was brought into question by cheating, uh, plagiarism, or any... I don't know. I have no idea. Don't, don't just toss that out there for no reason unless you're trying to be ahead of something that's about to break, but we don't know anything about that. So I, I don't know, Stephen A. You need to be more explicit. You need to stand behind whatever violation that, that you, you fell for here, that, you, that, that, that you're going to miss the semester because you did what? If you're going to say your integrity is in question, you need to say why, and you need to go ahead and defend yourself on it. You do, and not to mention the fact that, again, you would have to be a bit more specific if you wanted to get to the NFL to those teams because somebody would be willing to pick yep. you up to pay your salary. Well, they don't have anything to pay you if they don't have paying customers patronizing their product. So the point is, if you're going to put your business out there, you don't get to be vague about it and get away with it. As far as I'm concerned, you have opened the doors for us to be sure. incredibly intrusive as to what exactly was it that you did to get yourself removed from this prestigious institution yep. for a semester. We want to know because you said poor academic judgment and because you said character and integrity. Mm -hmm. yep. You brought those things in the, into, into focus. You don't get to be vague, not on my watch. 